this is a recognition of Charlie's place and the uh, uh, one year anniversary of the foundation taking him over. Is that correct? Been a fast year, huh? Yes. <laughs> All right, and ask uh, Councilman Ben Molina to help me with this one. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, had an opportunity to attend the ceremony yesterday and it was very well attended, so congratulations to you all. It is now estimated over 20 million Americans need treatment for a substance use disorder affecting many citizens of the city of Corpus Christi and the Coastal Bend. Charlie's Place Recovery Center has served over 50,000 clients from all over Texas for over 50 years and established an integral resource to the growth of the city of Corpus Christi recovery community. Charlie's Place Recovery Center merged with Senecor Foundation in October 2018 to expand its services to a full continuum of care, including a fully functional long-term therapeutic community program launched in the summer of 2019. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as the mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim October the 1st, 2019, at Charlie's Place Recovery Center's one-year anniversary at Senecor Foundation. In Corpus Christi, and urge all citizens to recognize the continued service of Charlie's Place Recovery Center and the expansion into the Corpus Christi community as Senecor Foundation. And I want to give you that uh, proclamation. And I was also attended yesterday, and it was music to my ears. They were they were announcing they were doing some expansion, and this fits right in, I think, to what our objective is: is addressing the needs particularly of those in our community that they need some services but may not know exactly where to find them uh, where we can begin to connect people particularly those in the homeless category to the services that are available we're spending millions and millions of dollars but there's people that not don't have the service and what we're trying to do is make that connection to get them to where they need to go and so your expansion will work perfectly with us and i've taken way too much time I ask you to say a few words but i was glad to hear your expansion plans yesterday Thank you so much, both of you, for attending our event yesterday. Charlie's Place Recovery Center has over a 50-year history in our community. This celebrates our one-year anniversary as being part of Cinecor Foundation, which allows us, like, like you were speaking, to expand services, to reconstruct our detox unit, to provide world-class care, but also we are in the process of adding 100 beds of care and a new program which launched June 1st, and that program actually allows our continuum of services to expand to a two-year model and a two-year modality. That's something that this community doesn't have. That's something that this region doesn't have. And so we are very fortunate for all of the work we have been able to do and all of the service we have been able to provide as Charlie's Place. But we are also super excited about the fact that as part of Cinecor Foundation, we are able to move forward. We are able to expand services and we are able to continue to provide world-class care to those who need it. Give my hand for what they're... I think it was I think it was Reverend Bennett that used to when his prayers he'd say thank you Lord for what you've done for what you're doing and for what you're gonna do so we want to thank you for what you're doing and what you're gonna do so thank you very much Our right, next one is uh, National Fire Prevention Week. Now, if you see them break and run for the door, you know they got a call. <laughs> so they probably left many a meal in your time of year with the fire department. There, are lots of. All right. Well, this is National Fire Prevention Week. Fire is a serious public safety concern, both locally and nationally. 
Homes are on the locations where people are greatest risk of fire. Fire departments in the United States respond to 357,000 home fires in 2017 that killed 2,630 people, according to the National Fire Protection Association. Residents who have planned and practiced a home fire escape plan are more prepared and will therefore be more likely to survive a fire. All residents should make a home escape plan drawing a map of each level of the home, showing all doors and windows, and should practice the home fire escape plan with everyone in the household. And kids learn pretty fast if you'll take time to show them what to do. They'll, they'll pay attention. The 2019 Fire Prevention Week theme, Not Every Hero Wears a Cape, uh, Plan and Practice Your Escape, works to educate everyone about the small but important actions that can take uh, to keep themselves and those around them safe. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as the mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim October 6th through 12th, 2019, National Fire Prevention Week in Corpus Christi, Texas, and urge all citizens to be aware of their surroundings, look for available ways out uh, in the event of a fire or in other emergencies, and respond when the smoke alarm sounds by, by exiting immediately and support the many public safety activities and efforts of the Corpus Christi Fire Department and emergency services during this week. We appreciate what these guys do, these guys and ladies. And uh, really, what we'd really like for them is that they come to work every day and they're the most bored people in the world because they don't ever have to go out and fight a fire. So, uh, but that's not reality. But we're glad you're here and we appreciate all the work you're doing. I'll give you the, Chief, I want you to, I'll give him this proclamation and you have a few words. All right. Thank you, Mayor, for the proclamation. And, you know, as the Mayor said, this is Fire Prevention Week that, that's uh, done on a national level. But in reality, we practice fire prevention 52 weeks out of the year. And it all starts at the home. Uh, more, more people die in a home than anywhere else when it comes to fire. And there's really two things that we want to stress, and that's smoke detectors and an escape route. And that's what our, our proclamation is this year, is, is getting out of a house. Uh, there's many people each year that die because they got out of a house and they're missing someone and they go back in to look for them. They die and the person they were looking for escaped. So there's, there's plans to do that, having meeting places. Uh, so that's what we're, pra we're preaching and practicing. We do that with the schools. We, get, we're, we have trucks that are going to the schools every day this month, uh, educating our children on that. And they're taking those plans home to their parents and showing them and, and coming up with those escape routes. Uh, that's important to do and we encourage everybody, everybody to do that. Thank you. Well, thank you guys for what you do and ladies, thank you for what you do and let's get a picture. Appreciate it very much. All right, our final proclamation this uh, today is Court Observance Week. So these ladies here are keeping us out of trouble. Or if you're in trouble, they'll tell you where you need to go to find out what's going to happen to you. So hopefully I don't get there anytime soon, huh, Mayor? Thank you. I'm going to read the proclamation on Court Observance Week. Our vast and complex system of justice cannot function without the skills and dedication of our nation's legal support staff who provide vital administrative and technical assistance to our courts, government, business, and private law. 
One of the, one of the main purposes of NALS, N-A-L-S, however, is that how y'all do it? Okay, NALS, not NALS, NALS. <laughs> The Association for Legal Professionals is to increase the skill, competence, and useful, usefulness of legal support staff so that they may better serve their employers and play an integral role in the working of our judicial system. Now, together with the state and the local associations, has designated free speech, free press, and free society as, a, as the theme for this year's Court Observance Week. In the United States and around the world, freedom of speech and the press are among the most important foundations for a free society. Free speech and free press are prominent topics in public discourse and litigation. It is impossible to imagine a free society without these individual liberties. You go, Mayor. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as the mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim October 7 through 11, 2019, as Court Observance Week in Corpus Christi, and urge all citizens to recognize the contributions of legal staff support to our system of justice and to commend their efforts to develop their professional knowledge and capabilities. So I'll present this to you. And you think if it weren't for these ladies, the guys that say they're lawyers, they couldn't do their job. So the, 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 these folks in the office really make the work easy for them. So thank you very much. Thank you. Give us the story a little quickly about your organization. Our organization, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, our association is Corpus Christi Association of Legal Professionals. We are a tri-level organization with NALS in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and the Texas ALP. We are all the legal staff. We do charity events, help out the community, and that's mostly D. <laughs> Covered it all? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for what you do, and good luck to you, and keep the lawyers in line, will you?